It's review time. Activate Beast Warfare's review. Only the review. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, check out and subscribe to my group channel, Comic Frontline, where the Frontline 6 come together every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Frontline Live to discuss all the latest news in geek culture and our top 5 comics of the week. Continue the conversation on the Frontline Discord. Be sure to check out ComicFrontline.com for the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features and daily updates. And don't forget to follow me, Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Hey everyone out there, Ranger Nation. Welcome back to the Comic Book Theater. Jay here with another Power Ranger Beast Warfare's review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Season 1, Episode 16, titled Gorilla Act. Okay, now there are two parts to the story. There's the A plot and there's the B plot. So I'm going to talk about the B plot in a little bit. Because the A plot is, you know, um, about the Rangers. So I'm going to talk about that. Alright, so this is basically a more or less an episode again with the Blue Ranger, Robbie, slash, um, also Smash in there too. So Robbie's painting uh, Roxy's uh, um, image, you know, painting her. But it's the one that's sleeping in the um, little tube, which is kind of creepy, dude. Like, you don't paint people when they're sleeping. Like, that's like, that's like one step above or below. I'm not sure how you would gauge that, of taking pictures of people when they're sleeping. You don't do that. But, um, anyway, I digress. He's doing that. Smash comes in and is like, oh, Robbie, that's beautiful. And Robbie panics and, you know, shuts him down, pro reprograms him to wipe out those memories. Um, he comes to and he's like, oh, what am I doing here? And he was like, you do remember coming in here, right? He was like, yes, but I can't remember what happened after. He was like, oh, alright, well, I gotta go. And, um, Smash is like, oh, I want to paint. And he just starts to paint on, like, Nate's desk. And then he's like, I need a bigger canvas or a bigger, um, you know, place to draw. And he goes out and he's on the street and he's just, like, painting on the side of a wall. And he's, like, going crazy. Ben and Betty come in with their tandem bike, which is really funny that they're still riding the tandem bikes, like, at all the time. Like, that's a steady thing for them. So, I, I think it's funny and a little bit weird that they do, but it's cool. Um, and they come in, they're like, oh my god, no, he's out here and he doesn't have permission. We gotta do something. So, they go up and they're like, oh, this is all the, this is the end of the demonstration. The um, Paint Bot 2000 is, you know, done. You, you go all the home now, nothing to see here. So then they call the Rangers, they come to get him, they figure out, you know, why is he painting, you know, that's not in his programming. And before they can do anything, they're attacked by Turbotron and Blaze and Roxy, which I'm like, dude, Turbotron is freaking awesome. Like, that costume is just freaking awesome. Alright, um, which is such a waste because Robbie, like, blasts him with the cannon, the b sex cannon, and it's like, psh, boom, he's gone. It was a waste of a costume. Like I love that costume. It just looks so freaking cool. Like I would really have loved a um, even a basic fi figure of that instead of the Drilltron. You mean the Turbotron like that? Um, that one looks actually cool. But um, anyway, so this is where the B plot comes in. Um, well, wait. First, I go back to the um, um, Grid Battle Force, and you know they're trying to figure out what happened with um, with Smash. And they figure out that, you know, someone tried to reprogram him. And in doing that, he can't, like, his circuits are damaged, so he can't connect. His programming is damaged, so he can't connect to the, um, you know, the Wheeler Zord. So they need the Wheeler Zord. They can't use it because he can't, um, you know, connect with it. So Nate is working on that. And uh, Robbie's mom is just like, no, no one should be painting. It's a frivolous activity, especially for a B-Spot. 
and, you know, she walks out, and then, um, that's when Robbie, you know, confesses that he's the one who did it because he called him painting, and they're like, oh, dude, that's cool that you paint, but, you know, you can't be doing that, so they do help him out, and, um, while they do that, there's an alarm, there's someone in, you know, back in that same area, the warehouse district type area, and this is where we enter in the B-plot, because Vargoyle makes his appearance, and no, he's not Neo Gryffindor, but, um, slash Goldar, but it would be cool if, you know, he still shows up for the team-up episode, because he could be like, ah, like, I could see it now, I could open up with, ah, after 20 years, I'm finally free, you know, because he was gone for about 20 years, um, since Countdown to Destruction, but, um, anyway, he's, he's there, and he's trying to earn the right to have those three discs, which, you know, Blaze or Roxy be like, hey, we earn them, we should have them, and, I, I want to say to, like, Blaze, when he said that, I was like, I was thinking, hmm, Roxy's the one who earned them all. Dude, you did nothing. So, Roxy should be really pissed, not Blaze and Roxy. Like, Blaze is just wants to get cash in on Roxy's, um, stuff. So, um, Gargo Vargoyle is down at the, um, base, you know, um, at the warehouse, and he's like, oh, no, oh, no. He's missing the Rangers when he's shooting them. They're really kicking his butt, and then... Um, Turbo Drone comes down, and, you know, Red Ranger has to go, so he can go there, um, in his Zord, Yellow Ranger goes, so she can go in her Zord, um, Blue Ranger is there with, um, Silver Ranger, Nate's still back at Great Battle Force, working on, um, Smash, Smash is fixed, sends out Smash, so Blue Ranger leaves, Silver Ranger's there by himself, and he's like, I can take care of this guy, and then we see Vargoyle's real plane. He takes off the um, cloak and he just like starts kicking um, Silver Ranger's butt. And he even like demorphs him. And then um, that's when he's about to destroy him. Silver comes in and, and Gold Ranger comes in Nate and he's like, leave my bro alone. You know, takes Vargoyle out. Vargoyle leaves. And we find it. He says, I already got what I came for. And when we go back into their, their little dimension, we see that, um, you know, the Rangers are, I mean, the, um, the villains are talking, and Wargoyle gets the three disc um, power. So he gets the power up with all the Rangers' powers. And he's warned not to use them because they'll use all, up all the more effects. So um, that's, that was um, that part. And then the end cat with the A story was, you know, they're cleaning off the wall, and Robbie brings, um, Smash aside, and he's like, look, I'm really sorry that what I did, and Smash was like, it's okay, and he was like, but I just didn't want anybody to know I painted, he was like, Robbie, I've been known, I just didn't say anything, because I knew you didn't want anybody to know, and your mom would get mad, but your mom loves you more than you know, um, and, you know, Robbie gives him a hug, and Smash is like, oh my god, Robbie, you never hugged me before, he's like, yeah, don't make it a habit, don't think it's gonna be a habit, or, you know, a regular thing, and, you know, then we had Ben and Betty little goof up, which is, they sit on, Betty sits on the table, the buckets of water goes up in the air and falls on her heads, you know, a little, like, ha 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 ha, right before the end of the episode. So, this was a cool episode, I love, I liked it, I thought it was a really well done episode. Again, Turbotron and Turbo Joan, great costumes, um, I would give this a, um, four and a quarter stars for an episode, I thought it was a really solid well, four and a quarter power bolts. Those are really solid episode. Um, and looking forward to the rest of the season. We only got four more basic episodes and then two um, holiday episodes left. So looking forward to see what's rest coming out. And until those reviews, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this episode. If you got to see it, um, what do you think about Vargoyle being just a random suit guy and not you know someone major? Uh, and let me know what you th if you think they're going to use that um, Neo Griffizor slash Goldar suit for the team up. And all the other stuff you want to talk about in the comments below. And until the next review, may the power protect you.